Super Rat Smoothies, Factorial Nova, Part 12. Two-way ANOVA, there's your raw data. There's your two-way ANOVA table. Okay, so we're almost done. So we calculated everything all the way down to the F ratios, right? These are the calculated Fs. Now we have to compare them to what we call a critical F. A critical F is a, a number from a textbook in a table that basically states this. If the null hypothesis were true, in other words, if there was no significant difference between the groups, then you should have got this number as an F ratio or less than that number. Okay, I'll say that again. If the critical F is smaller than your calculated F, that means that there's a significant difference between the groups somewhere. So let's, let's do a couple of it, and hopefully this will sink in. So uh, the critical F ratios are in a table. They call them critical because you, the researcher, have to do something if your calculated F is bigger than the critical F. And how you find your critical Fs in the book is you find the experiment-wise error rate, your alpha, which is usually just 0.05, and in the table, your, your horizontal row at the top is your degrees of freedom between groups. And your up and down indicator is your degrees of freedom for your error term. So we're going to compare our factor AF of 59 to the critical value F at 2 degrees between group. Right, That's going to be your... your across the top row and 30 degrees that you're within group. So according to the table in the book, if, if you want a 0.05 alpha with two degrees between group freedom and 30 degrees within group freedom, then if there was no significant difference between the groups, you should have gotten an F of 3.32 or less than. Ours is much bigger than that. It's huge, huge. So, our calculated F is much greater than our critical F. Therefore, we can say that there was a significant difference between the means of factor A. In other words, there was something different going on between the different levels of the serum drug. So the serum amount did, in fact, increase the amount of push-ups these rats were doing. Okay, and we write it right like that in the critical value we just put if it's less than 0.05 or greater than 0.05. Okay, so less than 0.05 means that, yes, there's a significant difference. Another way to think about this P thing uh, is the probability that the null is true is less than 0.05. So that means you get to reject the null. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Factor B, 1.2. I can already tell you that's not going to be significant. But let's go ahead and look up the critical F ratio in the book at 1.0 comma 30, right? Because degrees of freedom for B is one between groups and the within groups is the same. And that should have been 4.17. Our calculated F was only 1.2. Therefore, it's saying that there was no significant difference between the groups. And what that means in, in our experiment terms is that the smoothie size really did not have an effect on the number of push-ups these little rat guys were doing. Now we're going to check the interaction F, 260. That's just crazy. That's huge. And we already know that the calculated F, we already know the critical F is already 3.32 because it has the same amount of degrees of freedom, right? 2, 30. And 260 is just giant. It's crazy. So therefore, we know that there is a significant interaction going on between the A and B factors, or in other words, somewhere between the amount of drug and the large and small smoothie, there is is causing these guys to do more push-ups. It's like a new IV, okay? So the amount of serum and smoothie size, when combined, are acting like a brand new IV. So it, it it's, it's the way it affects the DV, okay? And that's what's going on here. And we kind of knew that from the graph of the means way back when, right? We knew that there was main effect A, which was the serum. And we knew that there was no effect B, and that was the smoothie size. And we knew there was interaction, okay? So 
Again, main effect A, yes. Main effect B, no. And interaction. And that's it for this one. MGZ, out.